Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is part six of our little accordion journal. If you're just joining for the first time, I just uh, encourage you to look at my playlist. I've got um, a video for each one of these little pages so that you can go back and uh, hopefully you'll want to participate in, in this and uh, that'll give you some ideas on what we're doing. Okay guys, today I'm going to have to change things slightly. Um, I'm going to try to do two pages um, because as you can see we've got three, no two, we've got another six to go. So today I'm going to try to get two of these done and because this is the back of the the little journal I'm actually decided I'm not going to decorate this portion because that way if in the future I want to make a little box for this to fit in I can do it without it bothering anything that I um, put on the back of that my intention is to really just have it sitting on a shelf in my studio because I think it's going to be pretty bulky but anyways let's just get going this page here um, I've already got an idea for this one because I had cut this out at the beginning if you've been following you remember I did um, cut this one out and I decided not to use it so what I've done is in advance I've went ahead and just added a stamped image and I've done some stitching around that and then some uh, little snippets of lace that I have in my stash. And I want to create a little pocket out of this to start. And I should have had all my glue ready. I thought I was really prepared, but obviously not. Um, so I want to create a little pocket on this panel here and I'm going to do just a little small tag that's going to be um, able to to go in this portion of it so I'm going to drop this one down I'm not going to center it I'm going to drop this down to the bottom because I want to see some of that bottom layer of the um, papers that I chose so I'm going to just sew a couple of little buttons on here really quickly to this little pocket and then we'll make the tag for this one and then I've got another one I want to try to get done as well because the videos are starting to run um, very long and I'm I'm having trouble out here with the download um, and sorry about the noise in the back Paul's trying to deal with Daisy this morning and it's an early start here because as you know it's it's getting very hot so um, I have to do these videos early so I do apologize for that but um, that's the only way <laughs> I can make them So I hope you guys are all well. Everything's good here. We're nearing the end of this job. Um, I'm, I've loved the job, but I, I'm not sad to be getting out of the heat, although we aren't sure that um, going to Florida is going to actually benefit from that point of view because um, it's, it's always hot in Florida. So I'm just stitching um, a couple of buttons, random. Just for a little bit more interest. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this project. Um, just something relaxing and not too stressful because I can just, well as you've seen, it, it's, it's taken quite a while to do it. It wouldn't take you that long if you just put your 
mind to it, but I'm doing other stuff as well. But I have enjoyed it because um, it's a nice way to use up you know, different bits of scrap. get this out of the way because I won't be using this again. So there is a close-up now. So I'll get this drying and we'll do a tag really quickly for this little pocket. Alright, so this was in my stash. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to turn that into a tag. So I've pre-cut this tiny little tag. And I thought that would be nice if that was kind of sticking up so that we can see it. But first of all, let's get it covered with some of this paper. And then I thought um, maybe I can use a little bit of this green leaf and something. I don't know. We'll play around with it and see, but the first thing I want to do is cover the tag with this. Isn't this beautiful paper? Um, that, again, is the Cotton and Twig TX shop on Etsy. A little brand. So let me grab my eyelets here. Not a brad, an eyelet. Sorry guys, it's it's early. Early, early here, so we've um we're starting to get up about five just to buy ourselves a couple of hours with um, cool temperatures and Daisy. Um, it gives her a chance to get out in the morning because it's so late before it cools down here at night. It's just, she's just spending way too much of the time in the RV. Which she sleeps most of the time now anyways, but um, and we, we need a break from it, so it's been nice because it gives us a few hours. We can sit out and have a coffee or um, go out and do, you know, if you want to do a bike ride or anything like that. But it's it's the only problem with it is it's dark when we get up. 
All right, I'm just going to put that on there and yeah, I had backed this, but um, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not really feeling this part of it with the handwriting and that image, so I just thought, well, I'll just make use out of it and turn it into a tag for this project. And then this is some of this um, uh, trim. <laughs> I ordered some off of Amazon, and um, I didn't realize it was going to be this much. So it's another thing that when I get back to um, Florida, I will need to drop, I think, some of this off at the at the lockup because it's too much to carry around. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to glue this down. So this part, I'm just going to snip it off because I don't want any of this hanging over, otherwise it's going to get uh, caught on the the side of that pocket, so and I'll just snip that a little bit off and add it up here. I think that'll look pretty. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else. that we want to add to this. Would you um, pull the door when you go out? It's a bit chilly. Ooh. Paul's just saying Daisy's taking herself for a little walk. So I guess he'll have to go chase her down now. But at least she's still wanting to get out. We're grateful for that. All right. Let's see where we are with this now. Yep, it fits perfectly. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So here we are, close up. And I don't know, down the road I could add, I could add a tiny little Hmm, let me do it. <laughs> All right, just one second, guys. Okay, I was actually looking for a tiny butterfly, but I can't seem to find one right now, so I'm going to see if I can just trim this little bee and have him up in the corner. So.
so I'm going to just fussy cut this little bee off of this ticket. This is uh, the bee kit from My Porch Prints when I was designing for Stephanie. Uh, I love these little bees. And sometimes I just use these images, you know, because sometimes it's just what you need. Okay, I'm going to call that one done, and we're going to move on to the next little element. Let me sit this to the side here. Alright, so this is how it's looking so far. I've still got to come back and do something on this one. Again, this is the back of the journal. So I'm just going to flip this over because this is the side I'm going to be working on. And I think I'm probably going to use this panel here. So what I've done on this is this is not going to be a pocket. I'm just going to have just like a little snippet on this, this portion. Um, I don't know. All I've done here is a piece of muslin and then I've stamped on separate muslin. I showed you guys some of that the other day. And then this is just a, a little piece of, it's like a really lightweight linen and then again some of that trim. Um, but what I'm going to do on this portion is a little bit of slow stitching and I bought this, let me sit this over, I bought this before we went on the road because I knew we wouldn't always have the internet and I wanted to um, to be able to look at um, some stitches without you know, having to have the Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do today is this feather stitch, and I'm not going to try to teach you guys because I am not um, skilled enough, really, to give you any kind of instruction on this. But I just thought some of the um, feather stitch along here would be really pretty. So, so I've chosen this green because the papers, I thought it would pull, not necessarily this block, but you can see there's some green in that one. Sorry, I keep coming out of camera, um, out of the frame. It's very difficult to sew. Oh, I gotta refer back. I did this last night just as a little practice. There we go. Set that over, that's getting hung up there. So 
So yeah, when we set off, I actually only had uh, brought, oh no, I've got it in that. I hate it when that happens. Um, I had only brought the things to slow stitch. Oh shoot, I got myself in a mess here. Um, because I didn't think I'd have the room to get anything for journal making. So that's why I brought the book and then I've got a little container with some... Uh, Yeah, I should have been paying attention. I had forgotten that this happens, so. All right, just one second. Okay, got it back out. Um, so, yeah, I just brought some embroidery thread, my needles, and then some scrap fabrics, which is why when I was thrifting, I was trying to source uh, material. And now I've got quite a bit of that, so I'll drop some of that off. I'm just going to, when I get back home, just do a little sample to bring with me because I'm not actually doing a lot of this, the slow stitching. Maybe I will down the road, but I'll, I'll keep some with me. But Alright, so I'm just going to tie this one off now, and then we're going to do a couple of little French knots just to add some color to this. I think this will, I think this will just be kind of pretty. Alright, so this is, you can see the color that that, I think that's going to match nice with with the theme on this with the green and that so I'm going to do a couple of little French knots here and I'm not great at these either but I'm practicing I think that'll that'll look nice. Just something really subtle, but it'll draw your eye to it. And I just think it'd be pretty just to have a little snippet in this. Alright, just a couple more and then this one will be ready. I won't put any buttons on this. I considered it, but um, I don't think it's going to need it. This one's tough to get through here. But yeah, I don't think it actually needs it with, with this.
Okay. I think that looks really nice. Those actually yeah, surprisingly went better than I thought. Sometimes I can make those really well and then other times they kind of fall apart. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm very happy with how both of those came out. So there we go. And I think I'll just Fabri-Tac that there, and that's just going to be purely decorative. Okay, there's a close-up. So that leaves us one, two, three, four. Four more little bits, and there's a close-up of that one with the tag. Yep. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in getting into the slow stitching, I would just recommend um, you can look these stitches up online. That was the French knot feather, the feather. And there's a couple of ladies on YouTube that show close up how to do those stitches. I think those are pretty much the beginner ones. So. Um, they're very simple to do, just practice like anything. But, all right, guys, I will see you here very soon. Bye bye.